Cervical cancer is the cancer of the cervix or cancer that originates from the cervix, which is the lower section of the uterus. Dr. T. Raja is a consultant medical oncologist at Apollo Specialty Hospital. What are the early symptoms of cervical cancer? Cervix cancer is usually an, uh, a relatively um, older women and it's usually common in the in the post menopausal age and therefore whenever there is a post menopausal bleeding or what we call sometimes a post contact or a post coital bleeding or any discomfort or some discharge or uh, some pain then there there must be a suspicion of something wrong there and cervical cancer is a possibility explain some of the complications of cervical cancer cervical cancer is uh, once again a very common disease in india in some parts of the country or most parts of the country cervical cancer is the commonest cancer in in women in some parts breast cancer is more common but most parts of india cervical cancer is the most common cancer in in women and uh, the most common cause of death due to cancer is once again cervical cancer unfortunately um, most patients get diagnosed at a, a relatively later stage this disease can be diagnosed at a very earlier stage when the disease reaches a higher stage it leads to a lot of complications it can lead to obstructions of the urinary tract it can lead to pain and in some patients it can spread to the other parts of the pelvis or it can spread to the other parts of the abdomen and uh, it can it can endanger life how important is a pap smear test in diagnosing cervical cancer how often should a woman take a pap smear test pap smear is a very important test it's very important for two reasons one it can be done as a very simple outpatient procedure and it can be done in anywhere um, not necessarily in big hospitals but it can be done in even in a smaller setup and it does not need a big training to do the test most of the physicians are trained to do it or most of the gynecologists are automatically trained to do it and so the test is available in many places and the test is not very expensive it's very cheap and the yield is is very good in re, in relative terms and many patients are diagnosed at an earlier stage by such a simple test pap smear it's preferable that any women undergoes screening uh, pap smear right from the age of 35 at least from age 40 and they should do it preferably once in 2 years at least an annual checkup is is much better than in your experience to what extent are people aware of cervical cancer how can more people come to know of it people are not uh, are not completely aware of cervical cancer they know that uh, um, there is uh, something related to their uterus if if you talk to many women many of them would say that i mean they are aware of uh, something going wrong with the uterus and uh, they they have heard about removal of uterus removal of uterus called hysterectomy is a common procedure for different reasons so for that reason women come to know about removal of hysterectomy removal of the uterus called hysterectomy and to some extent they are aware that uh, the uterus and the lower part of the uterus can give rise to a cancer but the awareness of cervix cancer is still very low considering the fact that cervical cancer is such a common cancer what measures should a woman take to avoid cervical cancer at what stage is it early enough to be cured most cervical cancers if they are diagnosed in stage 1 and stage 2 they are highly curable the cure rate drops once the stage of the cancer goes up to stage 3 or stage 4 and there is no clear cut prevention for cervical cancer until now but recently is a vaccine called uh, the cervical 
vaccine has been introduced that that vaccine targets the human papilloma virus and that is very effective and the landscape is changing if the vaccine becomes penetrant that what i mean is if a large population of women can be vaccinated in the next two decades we will see a good reduction in the cervical cancer how is cervical cancer treated what are some of the changes a person might have to adopt after diagnosis cervical cancer once again is treated by modalities like surgery radiation sometimes chemotherapy and they also have to undergo some special procedure called brachytherapy and as i told you cervical cancer is very common and these facilities are available in in most good hospitals once again whomever is diagnosed with cervical cancer they have to undergo some lifestyle modification but after 3 to 4 months of of intensive therapy then they can get back to their normal life they can do whatever they were doing earlier and uh, they can get back to normal life the only important message is that if there is an awareness and if these cancers are diagnosed at an earlier stage then the cure rates are very high and uh, they can go back to near normal life